Hey y'all, I'm Rylan. Welcome to my channel. It has been such a long time since I have said that and it feels so good. I'm super excited to be sitting here today slowly getting back into YouTube. For several months, a lot of months, I was posting super consistently, kind of fell into a slump both reading wise and social media wise and have gone through several big life changes and updates that I will share in another video, I think, and I kind of stopped reading. A couple of weeks ago, I did start picking up books again and making my way through them, and I do plan to talk in that same video as like all my life updates and things like that and why I experience burnout and kind of disappear off the face of the earth for a while. I do plan to talk about the books that I have read in the last three months, three and a half months at this point. Um, in that video as well, kind of do some book reviews slash wrap up for quarter two of the year but that's not what this video is about i <laughs> am starting this is officially i guess going to be a reading vlog for this upcoming weekend after a few hour shift that i have tomorrow i'm going to a romance convention here in nashville which i'm super excited about but after that i have a long weekend i'm taking off monday and tuesday to spend time with my boyfriend before he takes his huge exam uh to finalize his schooling he's doing that on tuesday Anyway, he's going to be spending a ton of the weekend doing studying and practice exams and things like that and then taking his actual exam on Tuesday. So I plan to spend a ton of this weekend reading and doing some homework that I have as well, but largely I'm hoping to focus on getting some reading done. I am not reading at the same pace that I was a couple of months ago, which makes sense. I am in my thesis now. I am in a summer class as well, so doing both of those things has kind of been a lot. And just some of my priorities have changed over the last couple of months, but I am reading again and I want to use the momentum to kind of jump back into uploading a couple of videos a month on my channel because I do have so much fun doing this and I want to get back into it a little bit at least and I might start posting more again farther down the road but right now just with all my school stuff and other life things we're just going to try to post a couple of times a month but I am super excited because this is the first vlog that I've started in months and I think it's going to be super fun. I have a goal to finish two books. One of these books I've already started. They're both thrillers. I actually have not read a romance book in months. I have not been in the mood to read a romance book, which kind of sucks because tomorrow I'm going to this big romance convention that I was super excited about and I still am super excited about. I just never read any of the books for this convention that I had wanted to except for one. So that is kind of sad but it's fine i am excited to go meet these authors super excited to go meet these authors and read their books eventually i'm staring at all the books right now that i am bringing with me tomorrow and it's going to be very fun but anyway after that convention hopefully my romance spark is lightened again i guess would be the saying that i'm trying to say this vlog however is going to be a thriller vlog i guess essentially because that's all i've been in the mood for i think i've read three or four thrillers over the last three weeks or so which is very much progress compared to what i was doing at this time last month so i'm going to take it so the first book that i have i am officially 50 pages into and that is all good people here by ashley flowers this is a small town thriller that takes place in dual timelines uh one timeline follows chrissy whose daughter is kidnapped and the present day timeline is margot who grew up uh as neighbors with this little girl who was kidnapped and murdered in the small town of indiana so we're following a 1994 timeline with chrissy the mother and then margot in 2019 as she's trying to remember the past and is trying to make connections with another similar case that may or may not have happened in the next town over with a girl who was the same age as january when she disappeared 20 years before so this is the first book that i will be reading it's very short both of these books that i've picked are pretty short so i'm hoping that kind of helps keep my momentum in terms of reading at a high because i would like to ride that high for as long as possible so far this book is really enjoyable i have been enjoying the dual timeline and the characters are interesting so far i have no idea what to expect but i've heard good things about this book when it first came out i was seeing it all over instagram so i do have high hopes for it i love a good small town book i love a good small town romance I haven't read a ton of small town thrillers but that i can think of at least off the top of my head but so far this one has been pretty enjoyable and i'm excited to see where it goes 
And then the second book that I hope to binge after finishing All Good People here is A Talent for Murder by Peter Swanson. This is a pretty recent release. Uh, I got it in my book of the month box when I got Riley Sager's newest book because all of my other books by him are book of the month and I needed to pick like a June release to get that book as my add-on so I picked this one but it sounds very interesting and I'm excited to pick it up. This book is also very very short which is why I'm picking it up right now for this reading vlog but it should be fun. This is a thriller of course about a newlywed librarian who begins to suspect that the man she married is a murderer. Murderer. That's a hard word kind of it all runs together. So we've got a librarian who is already a person after my own heart who thinks that she is married to a serial killer. And I think it's going to be super fun. I'm just gonna read a little bit of this. <laughs> a year in and the marriage was good, except for that strange blood streaked on the back of one of his shirts he had worn to a conference in Denver. Her curiosity turning to suspicion, Martha investigates the cities Alan has visited over the past year and uncovers a disturbing pattern. Five unsolved cases of murdered women. That sounds super good, I think. I love a good serial killer book. I've read two recently, I think, that could be considered serial killer thrillers. So if that's a trend in my current reading habits, then I'm going to keep up with it because I have been reading more than I was a couple months ago. So I am going to hopefully keep doing that. But these are the two books <laughs> that I'll be reading this weekend. I hope to get a bunch of b-roll as well for y'all and I'll probably update y'all once or twice a day depending on how busy I end up getting but I will make sure to update y'all a few times over this long weekend that I have. Cannot wait. Hopefully these thrillers end up holding up. So far All Good People is very fun and I'm excited to see where it goes. But I'll hop back in here probably at some point tomorrow evening or Saturday morning with my first updates and I will chat more with y'all then. Happy Saturday, y'all. I'm here with my first official vlog update for this weekend of continuing to get back into reading and trying to binge a couple of thrillers. I don't have a ton of progress made so far. However, I do plan to get to hopefully 60% of the way through All Good People here. By the end of the day, it is currently 2.20. I went to film this update, film another video, and then start another vlog. And I'm gonna go to my boyfriend's place and read and do homework for the rest of the day while he does his studying stuff. But I am still very much enjoying this book. I have read a little bit since my first introduction a couple of days ago. I'm officially on page 81. And this is not a very long book, so I it is a quick read once I get into it. It just takes me a little bit um, to get into it each time I pick it up, but that's fine. I am still not super far into it, so not worried about it. I am very much enjoying it still. I really enjoy the dual timelines. I feel like there's a lot that I'm missing right now, and that's the point, but I'm hoping that we kind of uncover the truth of the mystery um, a little bit sooner rather than later, or at least start getting some more answers before the very end of the book, because... I just feel like I, I, I want to know what's going on. I want to know the truth about what happened to January back in 1994 when she was murdered and why 25 years later almost it seems to be happening maybe again because right now I'm not seeing any correlation between the present time case and the past case but I'm hoping that when those secrets are revealed, that information is revealed, it makes sense and doesn't feel like a stretch if that makes sense. So we'll see what happens this afternoon when I pick this book back up and hopefully in my next update tonight or tomorrow I have more to say about it. I'm hoping I'm hoping that that the connection makes sense though. I'm a little bit nervous. I have heard good things about this book though so like I'm enjoying it so far but also I guess we'll see if the correlation between these two timelines makes sense and is good. I don't know. 
we'll see. But my B-roll from a second ago before this clip started was every single book that I purchased beforehand or got at the romance book convention that I went to yesterday. I talked about it in my introduction, I think, and it was so much fun. I had a great time getting to meet a couple of authors that I love and have read from in the past and then a lot of new authors as well that I'm very excited to read hopefully this year. I do feel like going to that convention helped get me kind of in the mood to read some romance. I'm actually going to be starting a romance reading vlog after this one just to sort of get myself back into the genre. I have missed it and going to that convention yesterday definitely cemented that love that I have for the genre and the fact that I do miss it and want to get back into it. So I'm going to do the introduction for that vlog in a second, but I won't start reading any romance until I finish this vlog up on Tuesday. But it's going to be a fun time, I think. But yeah, I got a ton of books. Most of them I actually had gotten beforehand. I think I only purchased like four or five books at the event itself, which was pretty good for me. I did give myself a limit on what I would allow myself to spend and I definitely stayed under that which I'm very excited about and it just felt kind of good and exciting to buy books yesterday because I haven't been buying books outside of the books that I bought for this event before the event just because I got the ticket months ago before I fell into my reading slump and stopped reading romance so I wanted to go into the event with like some prep work done, having purchased some of the books by these authors already. But otherwise, like I hadn't really been buying books outside of this. So I am excited to like add some new books to my collection. Um, like the only books I've received over the last couple of months have been subscription things like Book of the Month, Bookish Box, etc., etc. And so it was kind of fun to feel some happiness over buying these books for this event over the last several weeks and then getting to buy a couple of more while I was there yesterday. The rest of my day is going to look like homework and reading this book and hopefully making some yummy food for dinner, kind of thinking salad and chicken, but we'll see what I end up doing or maybe some ravioli. I don't know. We'll see, but I'm excited about it. Um, I'll catch y'all either tonight or tomorrow at some point with a better update, hopefully, for all good people here. And I'm hoping to wrap it up by tomorrow evening. So then I have two days for my second book for this vlog. But we will see. I will talk to you all later. There are so many things that I left unsaid. Happy Sunday y'all. I'm here with another update because last night I was able to binge a bunch of all good people here and I'm getting a little bit nervous about this book. I feel as though these two timelines that we have are very much removed from each other and while our main character Margot in the present time is trying to make connections with this present murder to the past that she was kind of involved in with her neighbor and best friend at the time getting killed. I feel as though I don't, I'm not seeing the connections between these two cases yet. And I feel as though there is such a hyper focus on the past that I don't really know anything about this current case that is going on with a little girl named Natalie who was recently kidnapped and killed. I feel as though we're only focusing on the past, which is fine. But I feel like if there's not a balance between the past and the present case, like I'm not going to believe the connections that you're trying to make um, in terms of like Margot, who is our main character, the reporter. So I'm struggling with that aspect of this book. I do find the unlikability of a lot of these characters very fascinating. I read thrillers a lot of the time because I love personally <laughs> unlikable slash unreliable characters in books of this genre. I find people fascinating and I enjoy that. So I do like that aspect of this book, but again, the timelines, the dual timelines of this book and the fact that it's been 25 years 
between these two cases that to me don't seem to be connected at all yet is giving me a little bit of a frustrating time with this book but i've only got like 125 pages left so i'm hoping to finish it up this afternoon and maybe i'll end up enjoying it i was really liking it at the beginning not knowing quite exactly what was going on but at this point in the book i feel as though we're trying to make stretches that aren't here so <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect with the end of the book, but I'm hoping for a cool plot twist. It's a big thing in thrillers, of course, but I feel like the last couple that I've read haven't really had plot twists, so I'm hoping that this one has a good one, and maybe that will change my current opinion on the book, but for right now, it's fine. Not loving it as much as I was at the beginning, but we'll see what ends up happening in the last 125 pages or so. But my plan is to wrap this book up today, and I'll probably hop back in here this evening with another update and hopefully I can start my second book for the weekend um, at least get a couple of chapters in before I head to bed but I'll hop back in here in a couple of hours hopefully and we will chat about my final thoughts on all good people here all right y'all <laughs> I finished all good people here like an hour ago and I actually ended up very much enjoying it it's not my favorite thriller that I've read but out of the ones that I've read recently, definitely was very interesting and enjoyable by the end. The plot twist, one of the big plot twists I was not expecting. I did semi-guess another one, but I feel like this book did keep me guessing from the start to the finish. There were a couple of things that bugged me that I felt like the connections between them were kind of thin in terms of... The cases that were following in this book and Margot made some not super smart decisions in my opinion but I do love a good thriller with a good plot twist and I haven't read those recently so this is very much what I was looking for in terms of that and I did really enjoy it I do like small town feels isolated um, like thrillers and I kind of feel like we got that in this book just because the town is super small um, we do feel kind of isolated from like the rest of the world I guess so I did really enjoy that aspect of the book would I read more from this author sure do I think that this is one of my favorite thrillers no but I did have a good time reading it in the end and it definitely did enjoy the plot twists so three and a half stars this one but I did round up on goodreads to four stars so that's my thoughts on this one but it's late and I'm done reading for the evening <laughs> But I do plan to start A Talent for Murder tomorrow by Peter Swanson. This is the thriller about the librarian who is married to this guy and she thinks that he might be a serial killer. So we're on a serial killer trend this weekend and over the last couple of weeks I have read a lot of books that have included a serial killing element in it. So that's very fun. This book just sounds super fun. I don't think I've ever read a thriller where like a librarian is involved in these suspicions. Um, so that's exciting. I do love a good book about books. So hopefully she's very nerdy. And I mean that as the highest compliment. And hopefully there are lots of books involved <laughs> in this one. Um, I'll be curious to see where it goes. I haven't read anything by Peter Swanson, but I have heard of him. I did get one of his other books several years ago from Book of the Month, I believe. But I think it's at my parents' house. And I definitely haven't read it yet, though, because this will be my first book by the author. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe this will be, like, my thriller. I don't know. We'll see. But I have high hopes for it. It sounds super interesting. I'm going into it with high anticipations for a fun and exciting time, but we will see where it goes. My goal would be to get to like 50% tomorrow. This book is only 255 pages. So hopefully I can get a solid 100 plus pages in tomorrow and then finish it up on Tuesday. But we will see. Very excited about this one though. I think out of all the thrillers that I've read, recently like just based on the synopsis of this one i'm most excited about this book so we'll see how it goes but i'll update y'all at some point tomorrow hopefully happy tuesday y'all i did not have a chance to do an update yesterday but i am here right now 
um, about halfway through A Talent for Murder by Peter Swanson and I am really enjoying it so far. This is my first book by the author and I didn't know what to expect but after I read the prologue and somebody had already died, I was like, whoa. I'm going to enjoy this book, I think. We have two POVs. We're following Martha who believes that her husband might be a serial killer just because at every conference that he's gone to recently, dead bodies have shown up there afterward. And then we're also following our other perspective. Um, I think her name is Lily. And I think she's some sort of like private investigator, but she doesn't say that she is one. But she's helped out this private investigator on his cases in the past. And I think she's kind of doing that too now. And I think the series is like named after her because this is a third book apparently in a series. I did not know that, but I don't think it matters that it's in a series and that's number three. But we're following these two women who knew each other in graduate school. Lily has killed people or killed a person at least in her past. Wouldn't be surprised if she has more than one dead body in her closet. Um, and then Martha is terrified that her husband is a serial killer and that maybe he might kill her too. So, super fun so far, super engaging. I am really enjoying it. I have flown through this book so far. I'm on page 94. I feel like every time I sit down to read it, I get really invested in it and I really wanna keep going, but I keep having other things that I have to do. So I haven't been able to read quite as much as I planned to today. And I probably won't finish the book today, but I'll wrap this vlog up once I do finish this book. I'll probably do one more update and then do my wrap up at the end once I finish this officially. But yeah, that is my update really good so far. I think this has potential to be a four or five star read if we don't screw things up. So we will see. But so far I have a really good feeling about it. I am like obsessed with this book and I cannot wait to pick it up hopefully tonight to read a little bit more. But I'll catch y'all in a couple days or maybe tomorrow with another update and fingers crossed I'm still feeling the same way that I am right now because right now I'm pretty excited about this book. Happy Wednesday, y'all. I cannot believe that we're already halfway through this week. I feel like time has just been flying recently. I just wanted to hop back in here for my final update because I ended up binging over 90 pages of A Talent for Murder during my kids' nap time today because everybody slept, which is kind of a miracle for my class. And I was able to have 90 minutes of reading time. So I read over 90 pages of this book and ended up wrapping it up once my shift ended. And for the first time, in over three and a half months, probably closer to four months. I am very excited to say that I have given a book five stars, but I really, really, really ended up enjoying this one. It captured my attention from the very beginning. Every time I sat down to read it, I just wanted to go ahead and keep reading it. And if I could have read it all in one sitting, I probably would have because truly, this book just had me enraptured. I really enjoyed it. We followed several POVs by the end of this book, not just Martha and Lily's. We end up following some killers POVs as well, and we know that from the very beginning of their chapters. And it was just super duper fascinating. There's very much a serial killer element to this book. Everybody, a lot of people in this book kill people. And it's very exciting, it's very fun. I really had a great time with it definitely my favorite book that I've read in a long time and I would personally recommend it if you love a good serial killer book where nobody is super likable yet you can't help but like some of the characters anyway and if you don't like them then you're at least probably going to be very intrigued by them and want to know more about them and their stories so I had a really fun time with this one it makes you want to read other books by this author it makes you want to keep reading thrillers but I am going to take a little bit of a pivot and read some romance next, I think. But I had I had a great time with this one, y'all. It was fascinating. I love getting a look into the mind of a sociopath. I have no idea if how the author portrayed this sociopath is accurate, but it was definitely interesting to me. I really enjoyed getting to switch to POVs and follow different characters and see how much they differed from each other as we navigated this overall questioning of of murder and like this trail of bodies that seem to be connected and how they're actually connected and how people have master plans sometimes just to hurt somebody else and it was it was crazy there was never really a point in time where i was like gasping or like super duper surprised or shocked yet i feel like the flow and like the pacing of the plot and how the author utilized the different povs to like control all of the like exciting things i guess in terms of the murders was super interesting 
Um, I just didn't want to stop reading. I wanted to keep flipping pages. I made my kids sleep for two extra minutes while I finished up a chapter because I just had to know what was going to happen. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know, but I did and I have no regrets. So five stars to a talent for murder. Super fun. And I cannot wait to read some more thrillers now because I'm feeling back, baby. I feel like I'm back. So, so fun. Would recommend checking this one out. Content warnings for this book do include murder, lots of murder, sexual assault, death, blood, like descriptions of blood, cheating, and other forms of violence, all of which I'll have in the description down below if y'all want to check out this book. Okay, my battery always dies at the worst times, I feel like. But anyway, super fun. Really enjoyed this one. Five stars would recommend it. Um, I would say that this weekend, or I guess this long weekend overall, was pretty successful because I had a three and a half star thriller and a five star thriller, which are higher ratings than I've had for books in a long time. So super happy about this, super happy that I was able to take a long weekend and kind of focus on reading a little bit more and binge large chunks of these two books at a time. Really had a great time and I'm excited to get back into vlogging um, more consistently again and keep reading books with serial killers in them apparently because this is my trend right now so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> That's all that I had for this reading vlog. Again, really excited to be getting back into reading. I've missed it a lot and my motivation is finally coming back so I'm really happy about that. But that's all that I have for this reading vlog. If you have any thriller recommendations, specifically thrillers that have serial killers in them, feel free to comment down below and let me know what they are because kind of feeling like that's my vibe right now and I would love to keep reading them if you guys have any recs for me. But otherwise, that is all that I have for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.